guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to show you guys how i made this halter dress with a detachable train i'm going to have the train actually in the second part of this video so first i'm going to start with the mesh the halter part i'm using karen m's halter dress pattern actually i just modified it to fit my client and this is me cutting that out and now i'm cutting the bias tape that's going on the halter dress and I needed two pieces of those. This fabric is on fold. And now I'm cutting out my choker. So she wanted the choker to tie in the back. So I'm just extending it and this fabric is also on fold. So this is my final choker. And then I have my two bias tape pieces. So now I'm pinning the mesh to the bias tape. And as you pin, you wanna stretch it out, which you see me doing now. You wanna stretch, pin, stretch, pin, because you want it to be fitted to, you know, the person's body. So you're gonna see me continue to pull and stretch and then place a pin. And then I take it to my sewing machine and I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch all the way down. And as I'm sewing, I, you can see me pulling. And then once I sew all the way down, I'm going to cut that excess trimming off that's on the edge. And then I'm going to fold until it meets that piece that I actually trimmed, and then I'm gonna fold it again. And this is how you do bias tape. I'm just gonna double fold it, and then sew a straight stitch right on the edge. And as you see, I'm just continuing to double fold. And this is where I'm gonna do that straight stitch right on that edge. And you wanna get close to that edge. And this is my choker piece. I'm sewing it uh, right here. I'm just folding it over right sides together. And then I'm gonna pin down the edge. And I'm gonna sew all the way down the edge, but I'm gonna leave a small hole and this is me just surging down the edge. Um, I already did it, but I didn't, I had to do it over. The stitches were a little off. You see, I left that small hole so that I can turn it right side out. And then I'm going to find the middle of the choker and then the middle of the halter piece and then pin those right sides together. And then I do a zigzag stitch right where I pinned just to connect the choker to the actual halter piece of the dress. And I'm doing a zigzag stitch here. Be sure to back stitch. I actually went over it twice. And then I flip it over, and then here I'm gonna do a top stitch. And now I'm cutting out the skirt pieces. This half, this one piece, I cut out four of those, four for the back, and then I cut out two full front pieces because I did need to line it. So now I'm double folding my fabric. That way I could just cut the front pieces out one time. Put my pattern on top. And then I'm just gonna cut around so that I can have two full front pieces. And then I'm gonna line it. And you know, if you've seen my other videos, then this is which you would typically see. I just pin all the way around and I'm just gonna take that to my serger. And I have these wrong sides together. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my two back pieces. So I'm gonna pin the front to the back and sew on the side seam there. And here I have it sewn. And my client, she wanted it, you know, one side to appear shorter than the other side. So here I'm just making that sort of cutout. And I'm using a water erasable pen just to make that cutout. I um, actually ended up lowering it. And you can see that at the end, I'm going back up because I do want my zipper to properly line up. So I brought it back up at the back. and I'm just surging the raw edge that I just cut. 
And here I'm measuring how long the skirt is. And then I'm gonna take that measurement and divide it by two. And that's how long my elastic is. I gave it a sort of a ruche so it can kind of like stay up a little bit. So I'm stretching that piece as I'm sewing it with a zigzag stitch. And I have it at a length of four just so it can maintain that stretch. And now here I'm finding the middle of the halter top so that I can match it to the middle of the skirt. And you see I have the middle of the skirt pinned and I'm gonna match those pieces. I'm gonna flip the skirt over and then I'm gonna pin that right sides together. Um, and then I flipped it over because I prefer to sew the mesh with the mesh on top. So you're gonna see me flip it over. But I'm just pinning it together. And then I'm going to sew here with a zigzag stitch. And then right there at the back is where I add my zipper. I also did that off camera. And then here I am top stitching. So you see me pushing that seam back and then going over with a top stitch. I'm using a straight stitch, but I'm also using a, um, a twin needle. If you work with stretchy fabric a lot, I would definitely recommend getting a twin needle. You see how nice and clean that seam looks? I also hemp the bottom with the twin needle. I'm gonna have my the dress on the mannequin and I'm seeing how I want the applique. I wanted it to be a little, a little different. So I lowered the other side. I also padded my mannequin beforehand. Um, I'm gonna have a TikTok tutorial on that actually. So check that out. So I'm just pinning it to my liking and then I'm just going to, you know, hand sew all the way around. And then here I am cutting my gloves and I'm doing this on double fold as well because I needed four pieces but I only wanted to, you know, cut once. I got this glove pattern out of a Facebook group that I'm in. Just me cutting the little thumb pieces that it has. I'm going to take the thumb piece and sew those on first. Um, I might actually have these wrong in this video but Yes, you're going to sew the thumb holes first. And then once you sew the thumb holes, you're going to lay the gloves right sides to right sides and then, you know, sew all the way around. I didn't use my serger because I didn't want it to be bulky and it's kind of hard to get those corners. So I'm using my sewing machine. And I'm also using a three point zigzag stitch. I believe that's what it's called. But the blue stitch you know, if you have this machine, it's that blue stitch, you you know, you know what I'm talking about. And she also wanted her gloves to be fingerless because she was, she did have fake nails on. So this is me just cutting off the tips of the gloves. And then I'm going to try the gloves on. And I realized that, you know, you couldn't see on my fingers, so I just, you know, adjusted it. And then you might want to, you know, sew back over those pieces that you just cut on those edges. And now this is me, you know, I'm about to add the feathers to the glove. So that little one trim was a little too thin, so I did sew two together. Well, I just folded it and sold it together just so it can be just a little bit fuller. So here I have my glove on this mannequin's arm and I put batting under it because her arm is like a little bit thicker. And I did want it to maintain that stretch at the top. So I'm using my glue gun and I'm just gonna glue the top of the feathers and have the glove, the feathers face upward. Then I'm just gonna wrap, continue to use the hot glue gun and place it right at the top and just go all the way around the arm. And then I'm using the other boa. This is a boa. Um, this is different than the ostrich trim that I just used. So I'm gonna use this and cover up that little, you know, that piece you can see. So I'm just gonna glue right on top of that and then add the boa. Um, I got 
the boa from high trim and then the ostrich trim from Amazon I'm gonna have all the links in the description And I'm just doing what I just did, gluing, wrapping around. And this was how the dress turned out. It was super cute. Um, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Um, and then check out part two where I'm going to have a detailed tutorial on how I did the detachable train.